Back here in Washington, a date is set for Donald Trump's trial on charges of attempting to overturn the results of the 2020 election. And the date is significant. It's one day before those Super Tuesday primaries. And with the former president's legal peril growing, CBS's Robert Costa reports Trump's White House chief of staff took the stand in Georgia. Tonight, a legal and political collision. The March 4th, 2024 trial date when Trump will face criminal charges for his efforts to overturn the 2020 election will take place the day before Super Tuesday when voters in 14 states across the country cast ballots in primary elections. Judge Tanya Chutkin rejected Trump's request to start the trial in 2026, telling the former president's lawyers Mr. Trump will have to make this trial date work, regardless of his schedule. There are now three criminal trials crowding Trump's calendar next spring. We did nothing wrong. I did nothing wrong. And today, Trump's former chief of staff, Mark Meadows, appeared in court in Fulton County in an attempt to move his charges from state court to federal court. Meadows was present on a phone call between Trump and Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger. Mr. President, everybody is on the line, and just so this is Mark Meadows, the chief of staff. When the president asked for additional votes to overturn the election. I just want to find uh, 11,780 votes, which is one more than we have. Meadows, who unexpectedly took the stand today, testified that he organized the call as a federal official, acting under color of his office. Former Justice Department official Tom Dupree said Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis can easily dispute that. She's arguing that he went way beyond what a chief of staff is expected to do or is even legally permitted to do, that he was engaged in political behavior, which chiefs of staff can't do. It's certainly not part of their official duties. Former Trump advisor Peter Navarro was also here at federal court today as he faces contempt of Congress charges. He told a judge that Trump urged him to stiff arm the January 6th committee and its subpoena request and instead claim that Trump had asserted executive privilege. Nora. Robert Costa with all those new details. Thank you very much.